Hi everyone, I'm Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Hopefully not a really long video. My last one was actually really short and I loved it. It was just a quick watch for all you guys. So I'm really happy with how that turned out and I'm hoping today's going to be the same. Again, just like the last video, I do only do my eyes. Um, and I actually did a lip on camera today as well. I don't know why. I don't even know how I feel about the lip, but... I suppose I'm here for it. The majority of the shadows are from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I also added some bright individual shadows that I have to give it a bit more of a pop. Bit of sparkle on the lid, bit of a smoky liner. I'm here for it. I did a one-to-one -one lesson with a client the other day and we created this look on a model, well, similar. And um, yeah, it just got me feeling the orange sunset type of vibe. So here I am, boom cat, boom cat, she's here. We're going to get into it. I want this to be short. As I said, it's just my eyes that get done. So I want you to get into it. Um, you can do this one at home, I promise. It's really easy. Um, yeah, just get into it. No more time wasting. Okay. I am like literally in the process of losing this nail. Like it's about to come off, it's going to happen, but hey. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab this P. Louise base and this flat synthetic concealer brush by Crown and well, that's not the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm talking rubbish. So the first thing I am gonna do is grab my Zoeva angled brow brush and this new brow pomade by Makeup Revolution. Well, it's the new brand Revolution Pro and this is in the shade medium brown. And what I'm doing here, I'm just carving out a bottom line for my eyebrows, and then I'm kind of pushing the product upwards. Now I'm just grabbing my brow gel, this is by MYX, and this is in the shade Brunette. And I'm just going to brush all the hairs upwards to try and get that fluff going, just like that. Next thing, I am grabbing this P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor, and this flat synthetic concealer brush by Crown, and I'm going to carve out that eyebrow and use this as my eye base. Don't be too shy with your product here, just paint it on underneath that brow and pull it down everywhere where you're going to be putting some shadow. Also when you get to the front of the brow I just like to push it up like almost into the brow and blend all the other edges. So now onto shadows which is really fun. Today I'm using a mixture of my Mel Cure Bright Eyeshadows and my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. The first colour from this palette I'm going to use is Creamsicle which is this one here but because I want it a bit more bright and a bit more neon I'm also... oh. The nail's going, it's 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 going. It, they're just press on, it's like I'm not pulling an acrylic off, but let's just take it off. Done. Yeah, because I want it a bit more bright and really, really packing a punch, I'm gonna mix that cream sh cream shake out creamsicle shade with this yellow shade by Mel Cure. So um I'm gonna do that. But if you have a really bright yellow or a kind of mustard colour that's bright enough for you, then you can just use that. So I'm just applying this to the crease of the eye and bringing it up pretty high. I quite like my shadows quite up close to my eyebrow these days. So I'm gonna just do that. These two colours are kind of like our transition colour. So, I mean, you can be a bit more messy with it. I love a good mustard yellow. Ooh. Okay, once you're kind of happy with that, I'm now gonna go in with an orange shadow. So I am gonna use a bright orange shadow from my Mel Cure palette. Um, there isn't an orange that's bright enough in the Jaclyn Hill palette. So just jump into any other palette that you have that has an orange. This one is just literally bright orange. It's called Orange by Mel Cure. And I'm just going to place this in the crease, obviously a little bit below the yellow, and blend it upwards into that mustard yellow. If you want to add more mustard or more yellow at any point, just go back and add it and then add your orange again, but I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is jump into... What's this shade called again? I'm going to jump into the shade called Hunts, which is this one right here. By the way, so far, I've used one brush. Zoeva 228 brush for all my colours. Again, what I'm doing with this is placing it in the crease just a little bit below our bright orange and again, blending it up. And you know what? Don't even try too hard to blend it up because the brush kind of does it for you. Just make sure you're placing your brush lower and lower every time. Now, I feel like I've lost a little bit too much orange with that, so I'm just going to jump back. Same brush, jump back into the bright orange and just meet the mustard and the dark orange right in the middle. Just bring the orange back. Now I'm going to jump into this colour in the palette, which is called Jax. I'm just applying literally the tiniest bit of this on the outer corner and bringing it up to around the middle of the crease, but no further in than that. Literally, guys, all of this with one brush. Hmm. I am going to switch it up now, though. So now I'm going to grab my Peaches and Cream Glitter Base and my Peaches and Cream Pigment in the shade Hollywood. And I'm going to dip this 227 brush by Zoeva just into my hand and pick up a little bit of that product. You don't need a lot. And I'm going to start dabbing this glitter base, focusing the majority of the product in the middle of my eye, but also making sure I get the inner corner. 
And with that same brush that's covered in glitter base, we're going to dip into the pigment. I love Hollywood Pigment by Peaches and Cream. It's kind of like a clear pigment, but it reflects gold and this pigment in the air. You see, it's hard to explain. In the pot, it just looks white. It's one of those ones. But when it goes on the eye, it's like a yellow gold. Stunning. Now, I'm not being too precise with the pigment. I'm just making sure I get it all over my eyelid. But I also want to be able to see it when I still look ahead. Because what's the point in using it if you're going to hide it? Mmm. I'm happy with that. I do want a little bit more depth in my outer corner, so I'm going to use this Zoeva 224 brush, which is like a really cute small blending brush. And using that Jack shade that we used before, I'm just going to do little circular motions in my inner corner and bring some darkness back. Fun, we're getting there. So now with this Morphe M506 brush, it's like a, again, a little tiny um, blending brush. I'm going to jump into that Hunt shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to basically use this as a smoky liner first. So I'm going to bring this all over the lid. Is it pointless to do this after you've put a pigment on? Maybe. Um, but I'm not bringing it all over the lid, just the lash line. I just think it ties it all together beautifully. Now I'm going to basically do the exact same thing, but with this Abyss shade. It's basically a black. But I'm not going to bring that as high on my lid. I'm really just going to focus this all along the lash line instead of using a black liquid liner. I'm just going to grab my Shine Bright Highlighter by Doll Beauty. Jump into that with a little detail brush and hit up those inner corners. So because I definitely want you to still be able to see my eyelids, I'm going to add some more wispy lashes. I don't want ones that are too full because then you won't see all the work. So I'm going to go in with these lashes that Doll Beauty kindly sent to me. These are the Cher lashes and I'm going to stick these on now with some mascara and I'll be back in a minute. I mean clearly I put more than just a lash on but this video is not about skin. I am going to do a new updated skin routine really soon because I swear I changed my foundation skin routine every other day. What we're going to do is the bottom half of the eyes and we're going to choose a lip together because that's that's like fun, isn't it? So we're going to do that. So with the eyes, what happens up there happens again down here, but just you don't have to go as far. Um, up here I used like four shades to get the sunset effect. Down below, ain't nobody got time for that in my opinion. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is that popsicle yellowish mustard shade. Now I find the best brushes to do under eyes with are pencil brushes. So I have been loving this one by Zoeva. This is the 231. And be careful because you don't want too much fallout. I'm just going to build that colour. Make sure you're bringing it down far enough so you can actually see it. Now using that same brush, I'm going to be using the orange shade again from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to place that again under the eye, but this time obviously a bit closer to the eye and above that yellow shade. And just like that, the eyes are done. But we are going to choose a look together. So I was looking for like a dark orangey coppery type of vibe and I found this at the bottom of my lip bag and this is Lime Crime Cindy. So I'm going to go in with this first. But now I'm going to grab my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This is in the shade 55 Driver. And I'm going to place this in the middle and kind of blend it out. And I believe we're done. And that's it, I told you it was easy, I told you it was easy. As I always say in all my videos, if you don't have these exact products, don't let that stop you from trying this look. If you're a makeup addict like me, you'll trust me, you'll probably have all these colours somewhere. I'm obsessed with oranges and warm tones, so it's the perfect eye for me, but let me know if you like it. If you do like it and you want to try it, then definitely tag me on Instagram. My username is Makeup by Jamie G, so make sure you follow me over there. By the way, I'm always open for comments on video recommendations. I really, I don't get enough of those. I absolutely love every single one of you that tune in and watch my videos. A lot of you have actually started watching them before I even share them on social media, which is really cool to me because I only used to get comments after sharing it because people on my social media would see it. But now, because I'm getting quite a lot of subscribers, well, I'm pushing 800 and I'll be there soon. People are actually commenting on my videos before I've even shared them, so that's really cool. And that's what happens when you're a subscriber. So if you subscribe, you see it first. <clears throat> so I want to thank all 700 and something subscribers. Um, and just say thank you for being here, being part of the makeup crew. Mm -hmm. I do love you all and I want to thank you for being here and until next time I want you to stay snatched and be nice to... Nice to people. Bye!